Cancer Heritage, welcome to week 18 of your timeline. Uh, this week we are on cards 120 through 126. The first card this week is Cherokee Trail of Tears. So for Cherokee, we're going to make that sign for Native American again. You can either go kind of from your nose or from your mouth to your ear, like a, the feathers and or the chain safe to connect there. So Cherokee, and for Trail of Tears, you're going to take your four fingers and come down as though the tears are running down your face. So Cherokee Trail of Tears. Uh, U.S. Westward Expansion, we're going to make a W and we're just going to move it across our body. Westward Expansion. Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. Um, we're going to, for Marx um, and the Communist Manifesto, the sign, the Communist Salute that they used to do was to put a fist out to the side and up. So we're going to do Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. It was a um, piece of writing that he created um, about communism. Next is the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision. Uh, the Compromise of 1850, similar to the Missouri Compromise, was about the number of free states and slave states. So we're going to make the same sign for compromise. You point to your head and then bring your finger down next to your other finger. So the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision, you're going to put your hands together like a slave. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court decided that Dred Scott had to remain a slave, and so that's why. So we've got the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision. The next card is U.S. Restores Trade with Japan. So for U.S., we're going to make that sign, putting our hands together again and showing unity amongst all those people. U.S restores trade, our sign for trading, and Japan, trace that shape of Japan, all signs that we've had before. The next one is British Queen Victoria's rule over India. So for British, that was in England, we're going to do the sign for England. British Queen, a V for Victoria. And then for rule, you're going to take your fingers and kind of make these little hooks with them, and you're going to go back and forth, almost like um, if you had the reins of a horse and you were guiding the horse, that's kind of the same sign. She was the one who was hold, hold, held the reins over India. So, um, and then for India, of course, we've got the dot on the head that we point to. So it's British Queen Victoria's rule over India. And the last one this week is Darwin publishes uh, The Origin of Species. So we're going to just do a D for Darwin. Darwin, and for publishes, you're going to kind of write, write in your book. Darwin publishes, and the origin of species. Do you remember from when we started our timeline song? We kind of put the key in the ignition to start it. Same thing. We're gonna. This is a sign for origin or the start of um, of things. And so Darwin was writing about how he believes species started, the origin of species. So. We're going to put our key in the ignition and we're just going to kind of go around in a circle with it. So Darwin publishes the origin of species. And those are the signs for this week. So let's go through just all those quickly again. So we've got Cherokee Trail of Tears, U.S. Westward Expansion, Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto, the Compromise of 1850, and the Dred Scott decision. The U.S. restores trade with Japan. British Queen Victoria's rule over India. And Darwin publishes the origin of species. Now remember too, when we're doing these signs and practicing them, if there's one that stands out to you, you know, if we have three signs for one card, and there's one sign that just stands out to you and it's easier to remember just the one, go ahead and practice with just the one. These are mostly memory aids for you. Um, so feel free to do that if it's easier. Or if the, fan, the song is going really fast at that point and you're like, ah, I can't do three signs right here. I can just do one. It's okay. <laughs> you can just do pick one of those signs to do um, and you'll have the memory marker there, which is perfect. All right, that's it. Have a great week.